All right, let's just copy and paste today for the rest of the summer. Wouldn't that be nice? You got it. I can make it happen. <laughs> right? Yeah, I wish. Uh, very nice out there. If you have plans this evening, uh, enjoy it because it doesn't feel much better than this. Yeah for mid to late July, that's for sure. Lots of sunshine right now in Jackson. A great looking picture, aside from the uh, spider web in the camera there. 78 degrees, feeling great. Keep in mind the normal high this time of the year is 83 degrees, so we'll take this, that's for sure. We get to the 80s in the coming days. 76 Mason, 77 in Charlotte, 78 right now in Battle Creek. All pretty nice numbers. Dew points are also down, so the humidity is low. It feels really nice out there. A satellite and radar, we we are still seeing a few showers and thunderstorms to our north and west, but those are not expected to make it here as this rain has been moving south. It's been encountering this drier air and with it, it's been falling apart. So no worry there back out to the west. High pressure over Iowa that moves directly overhead tomorrow. So tomorrow should be a very nice day once again, but over the coming days, we're going to see temperatures go up. We're going to see the humidity rise. And yeah, the chance for rain moving back in as well. I think we're mainly dry this weekend. Uh, Saturday, there's going to be a front getting closer. And as it gets overhead, it's going to kind of diminish and fall apart. So there could be a stray shower or two early Saturday. Then again, during the afternoon, there may be a stray shower, but that's it. Not much, right? The weekend looks pretty good. Come Monday and Tuesday, the chance for rain gets much better, especially on Monday. Showers and a few thunderstorms are expected. It's not going to be a total washout, but Monday, definitely a day that you'll want to keep the umbrellas handy. Tuesday, a few showers are expected to linger as well. So with that being said, the next couple of days pretty good to get the lawn done both tomorrow and Friday. Great days, but temperatures are climbing. Uh, we're in the middle to upper 80s by Friday and feeling like 90 degrees. So if you're going to do it, take some breaks, maybe do it early on. Now Saturday, I think most of the day should be OK, but I put PM on there. So with that cold front approaching, and that's going to kind of stall out and dissipate over us. There could be a few stray showers in there early. So with that being said, later afternoon looking better, but still I think most of Saturday looks pretty good to get the lawn done as well. Sunday, another nice day as well. But this weekend we do heat things up tonight, though, cooling off nicely upper 50s for lows. Again, dew points are low, so that allows temperatures to follow suit this time of the year. It doesn't happen very often, so a very comfortable air mass in place tomorrow. Lots of sunshine once again. We top out in the low to mid 80s. That's right where we should be this time of the year. A little bit warmer than today, and we're going to keep that warming trend going for the next few days. 85 on Friday. This weekend, middle to upper 80s, and again, a slight chance for a stray shower on Saturday, maybe Sunday as well, but I think that we'll see more dry time. Monday, we will see a few showers and thunderstorms. That's going to be the day that you'll want to keep the umbrellas handy. Not a washout, but a pretty active day. More showers are expected Tuesday as well. We go from 88 on Sunday down to the low 80s Tuesday and Wednesday. On top of the temperature going up this weekend, it's going to be a little bit more humid as well. Okay. So it's going to feel like the 90s. A little yeah. warmer. Yeah. All right, Brett, thank you.